everyone, Ron Smiley joining us now, and we're talking about two national days Ooh. that are on the calendar, and I, I don't know how they come up mm -hmm. with them, but one of them is Eat Your Jello Day. Oh, do you I like, like Jello? I, yes. I do, but I have an issue with Jello. I like just Jello. Oh. oh, so don't you don't like Jello salads? No. Oh. Yeah, this is something my grandma used to do was have the Jello with right. the bananas in it. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. My mom would make raspberry jello with apples and uh, marshmallows on top. And that was that, that was like the nightly good, dessert too. Oh, like really, she oh, always that? had it, and it was always pulled out after dinner. If I want my bananas, I will put them on the side <sighs> next to my jello. No. <laughs> you you want to keep it separate. Don't yeah. tell me how to eat my food. Well, some of the most popular <laughs> jello salads do not follow Ron's rules. Uh, in fact, there's the strawberry pretzel jello salad, right? Yes. Okay. I think we have a picture of that one. Complex. Yeah. Oh, look, oh at that. look at that. That's even better than I remember with now, the crust at the bottom. That's what I was about to say. That must be the, uh, that, that's the pretzels at the bottom. Right, right. Yeah. Yes. Now, would okay. you eat that, Ron? I, I might eat that one. <laughs> um, that one, that one actually, I only, I, clearly I got the bad ones. I got the bananas and the jello in mine. No you're, offense I to you. I feel like you're the separator at Thanksgiving dinner. Like everything has to yes. be separate right, yeah, from each other. Yeah. And we can I'm build the walls. Mixer. Build walls between each one. Is nope. that what so, you do? Yes. Right. No. Well, if you enjoy Jello and you enjoy Jello salads, because there's lots of Jello salads that are very popular out there, today is your day to celebrate. It is National Eat Your Jello Day. It is also something else that's rather odd. It's National okay. Paper Bag Day, oh. which is why I have a paper bag with us here. Okay. Gotcha. But it turns out, and I don't know if like the paper bag industry came up with this or not, but paper bags can be used for a number of things you might not think about. And one of them is whenever you're sort of having an anxiety problem, like maybe someone agreed to ride the new roller coaster. <laughs> we were just talking about that, yes. on, And then, so you, you breathe in, you know, and in fact, we have some. I think we have Does a little work? video to show <laughs> you. I'm, I'm already. Sheldon anxious. is showing oh you how gosh. to do it. <laughs> yes. Another usage of a paper bag that you might not think about. Okay. Yeah. No, I, so we could do that if, if before the steel uh, curtain happens for you. I'm not even writing it for like another week or two, and I'm already anxious. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'll need a lot of these. Just <laughs> pep talk. We'll talk every day, and I'll be like, Ron, you are doing this. It's easier for her Front to say. Front row. She can't write it right now. Right. Bugs <laughs> no, in but face. she's into it. She's yeah. a roller coaster enthusiast. I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. After this baby pops out, going to grandma, go. and I'm going on down that steel curtain. All right, you know what, Ron? I'm going to just give you the bag so you okay. can keep it okay. for your roller coaster day. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it is National Paper Bag Day and National Jello Day. And uh, now you've learned something here on yes. PTL. <laughs>